All right, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good Saturday morning to y'all. We are out here. Uh, we're gonna get through all five dogs. Got a nice treat for you, so buckle up. Um, you got dogs at different stages, different ages, different training levels, things like that. So with mine, my own personal dogs, which I'll go through first, uh, you will see all of the commands that they know. They should know it, so I will be running them through everything. Uh, we'll start off on leash just like a like a normal basketball player or anybody else. Even Michael Jordan had to go through warm-ups. So even if you think your dog is the greatest thing to train, you still probably got to do some warm-up exercises. So that's what we're going to do this morning. It's a cold, brisk morning. So here we go. These are called doggy push-ups. Flat. Boost. Boost. Go to bed. Good. What I'm looking for, plats, is for my dog to go to the bed and lay down. That's the completion of uh, bed in that case. Sit. Bear. Sit. Right here. Sit. What I'm looking for him is to be facing the same direction as me. He's been through enough plats to where he should be able to all the way down. Plats. Good boy. Bly. I speak to my dogs in German. That's my preference. You can speak to your dogs in whatever language you want. Place. Baron. Place. So now what I'll do, something I really need to work on with him, is recall him back and then spinning him around into heel position. Baron, come. Sit, but not where I want it. Yep. Sit. Sit. Good. Flats. Light. So for him, it's just a little bit, little things here and there. That's why I let him drag the leash, especially when we're doing warm ups. And then you work on changing your pace, um, going faster, going slower, seeing if the dog is really paying attention. Fly. So with Baron, that's just what I'm gonna run through this morning, real quick. I'm gonna go pull out my next dog, which is my black female. 
Um, let's see how she does. First thing in the morning, again, we haven't went through this today, so uh, we just wanna get them rolling, get them some good work in before we go about our day. It doesn't take long. You don't have to be out here an hour and a half every time. You can get a good five minute session, or get a good 10 minute session if it's good and effective. So going through what he knows and then putting him in a little stuff, changing my pace, keeps the dog guessing, keeps the dog paying attention. The other thing I'm working, so so far what you've seen, work on a heel, work on a come, work on a place and stay, work on a sit, work on a down and stay. All of these things are a part of his repertoire, which is what I would use in daily life. I don't need my dogs to bounce off of trees and stuff. That's just my lifestyle. When we do training, we come to fit the dog and the training to your lifestyle. So that's something to think about whenever you check in and call with KPK9. We want to make this fit your lifestyle. So I'm going to go put Baron up and I'm going to grab another dog. Free. this morning I see. So this is Avery. She is my two-year-old black German Shepherd. She's a female. Um, she'll be two actually this Christmas. So uh, what we're looking for here from her is working on heel, working on place, working on going to bed and staying in bed. Um, really basic thing, sit stays, down and stays, and then working on following me, making sure she's doing what she's supposed to do. She has a tendency when I try to make her sit next to me, she brings her butt out. So that's something I'm gonna correct and work on today. Hey, hey. With her working on a place and stay, just keeping her here. Um, once your dog kind of gets past the very, very beginning of place and stay, you can start ignoring them in a sense because that's something that you might do in real life. I want my dogs to either go somewhere, stay there, and I can turn my back to them. I can spin if I'm moving. She's got to stay there. Come.
are good things for you guys to see because dogs mess up. Doesn't matter. <laughs> How many trainings they have? They're still, they're not perfect, they're animals. sloppy very sloppy well that's my fault because I have not been able to work with her for whatever reason life time Avery so that's something I'll work on we'll clean it up Avery go to bed one in every bunch this is my one that tests me if we if for those of you that have children out there you got that one child that tests you over and over and over and over this is her it's not that she's stubborn as opposed to she just is like hey <laughs> whatever so that's where we have to stay consistent my voice will stay the same you can't get mad at the dog because at some point you may not be communicating effectively with the dog okay so rather than to get mad and yell ah not gonna do that. Okay. Very hard to work when your dog has her nose to the ground all the time. Sometimes you have to try different equipment on different dogs. Because why? They respond differently. And there's nothing wrong with that. Now let's see how our head is. So now, I'm gonna go get my third personal dog. It'll be my white shepherd. Rough morning for here, for this one. But it's like that sometimes. 
Rather than get frustrated, I'll put her up. I'll pull her out a little bit later, try to get another session, tighten up on what we did. But that's good for people to see that, hey man, dogs, dogs, dogs have days too. And you just gotta work through it, you know, with, with positive vibes and everything like that. So again, here she is up. I'm not gonna reward that because she got up. She broke. She gotta stay down. So stay tuned. Uh, I'll bring out the next dog, and we'll keep it going.